Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. Jamma, the rule is, is that I get the top bunk bed. That's what it means to be a top. <laughs> Hello, my name is my hem. Then everyone died. You, yeah, you didn't even speak. He didn't even speak into your mic. I don't need to. Why are you like this? I already know who I am. And the, we're back with another episode. No, of they Dragon. really don't. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? And we're back with another episode of Dragon Quest. Uh, yeah. Who are you? Who are uh, you? Uh, who are you? Uh, who are you? And we woke up the next day with Gemma here. Do I still have my sword? I do. And we respect into two swords. I'm sorry, Miss Duke, but I'm in love with someone else. You didn't believe me, did you? <laughs> Good morning, Miss Duke. <laughs> <laughs> that was. <laughs> she hey. fucking geosed him. She fucking geosed. She geosed the fuck out of, out of Miss Duke. It's a weird way to say gaslighting. <laughs> Princess Jade wanted me to tell you that the king needed to speak to you. They'll be waiting for you in the throne room, apparently. I hope it's good news. We have enough. We've had enough bad rooms, bad news to last us a lifetime. Whatever it is, you can walk in there with your head held high. I'm proud of you. We all are. Also, I love Savando. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking odds of being lied to by Jabba. <laughs> yeah, he's. He's clapping his mustache. Look at him in the distance. Oh, I'm the only one looking at the screen. No, <laughs> Duke, what are you doing? Democracy. Now you're, yeah. Now you're on your phone. Yeah. Which means that Jitsu now has a, a mindset of an excuse to get on his phone now. No. What I was gonna say is, oh, you I have the mindset Gios? of I have the excuse to punch him in the dick. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Stop! <laughs> no! She's that She boo! <laughs> and playing copyrighted music! <laughs> you fuck! Save. But now let's get our laurels. Let's 69! About that. 46. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, it's still there. Yeah. We gotta play for another 15 About minutes. that, it's still there. <laughs> yeah. Who is this guy? 69, do you get it? 69. I forgot his name, but it's Dusty or Dante, whatever the fuck his name is. Dustin. Dunstan. Dunstan. He's the, but who is Dunstan? Jim is dad. He's the village fucking elder. He, like, he's the mayor or whatever. They, they made Gemma? Of, of, cobble, of cobblestone. Cobble, of cobble, cobble pot. Cobble pot. <laughs> oh, it's That's a weird I, way to describe a parent, what you just said. They made Gemma? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at his wife! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm what has never seen one dearest darling Dirk quite so excitable before? He's quite ecstatic. Wait, this is literally Daisy speak. and Luigi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luigi, <laughs> with the true king, as am I. What wishes you all love? Yes, it's literally Luigi. Look at but, but, but no, now I imagine just in the far off future, just like I'm proud to present my latest design, Duke Jr. <laughs> <laughs> the about? newest model. <laughs> Harold Stark talking to Tony Stark. <laughs> the Mark II. <two. laughs> Alright, let's go. Shh. Mark Stark II. Wait, let's wait, no. I'm go. I'm it's episode 100, everybody! Imagine, like, a guy named Mark naming his son the Mark II. <laughs> <laughs> no, just Mark II. <laughs> then he has a son and he names him Mark III. Mark 47. I the truth now. Hard as it was it to took us a few hundred years, but we the got there. It was hard to swallow, to but I took a suppository. That was easier. This kingdom, no, this entire world. No, this entire no. universe. No, the repository was easy. Don't you know where Mordigan was hiding? Suppository. Suppository. <laughs> a true hero stands among Joke us. still works. Adria is eternally in your debt. <laughs> you, you could hear a whistle. The heir to the legendary Erdwin. Truly, you are the luminary, our light, and our hope. Thank you, Dr. Giro. <laughs> Yay! What? They like me now? What? That's crazy. I can't believe it. 
It's finally what the beginning of the game was supposed to be. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I died. <laughs> Welled up all of a sudden. I'm just glad to be here with all of you. I suppose. <laughs> I really want Eric to just drop kick her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you silly thing. Pigskin. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, things ever just After all this time, I can the finally window. do this. <laughs> Running start to kick her. Sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you're in uniform. Thank you for everything. Well, you're alive now because of me. Can you be an adult now? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my Akitu for Hanukkah? <laughs> the true Akitu. Dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Why isn't she dead again? Uh-oh. Oh. What is that again? This is the Tuckle. Uh, th that was the, uh... No, no, the, the rock. This, that was the Sphere of Time, basically, and we shattered it with the Sword of Light. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, Erwin's la Lantern is actually back now. What? The Lantern, it wasn't destroyed in this timeline. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, look, the thing I mentioned. Yeah. Evil, but where is it coming from? My dick. What was it Mordigan said just before he died? Something about not being the only one who defied the flow of time, right? But what did he mean? I went back in time. What did he mean by that? Why did why did why did the the hero have a sword that looked really evil and fucking gloomy out of nowhere? And why was he twenty levels above everyone else? Yeah, it's Urban Lantern. Yeah. Uh, no, don't accuse me of being in the dark spawn, you motherfucker. Upstairs, <laughs> quickly, quickly! Oh, the balcony's getting used. <laughs> I have to literally run to the balcony. <laughs> oh, hi, Gemma. Also, I gotta change the party uh, lineup. That was unfortunately, uh, uh, I just remembered, uh, video games that make you just walk to a specific area, like maybe 50 feet away, and then immediately next cutscene. Mm -hmm. The number of times I fucking hate that. Yeah. I'm playing Osiris Wrath. They did that like towards the beginning of the game. <laughs> <laughs> like you walk 20 feet and then cutscene. Oh, you hate you hate to see it. You hate you hate to see it. I will say it's, it's very much becoming one of my favorite games, though. <laughs> I, you, you I hate that element, but I love this game. No, ah! bonus skill points. Nice. Dodgy. Deafness. And then I want to, cause I want to see what this one. What? I forgot what it was. Divide. Ah. I forgot about it. The move that killed Morgan last time because <laughs> it did like fucking <laughs> seventeen no, damage. Would, no, that was victimizer. Why, I don't know why I'm laughing so much. Wait, if you could go back real quick. It just I don't know why I'm laughing so much at it. I'm just seeing the two feet up in the corner and the, uh, the two hands down there. Looks like a dude on all fours. <laughs> and so can, when you click the middle piece, I'm just like, oh no! It's <laughs> you can take the two like eye parts and it's like eyes and it's just like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just bouncing on the screen. <laughs> ah. 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 <laughs> ah. <laughs> Man, it's too bad that they suck. Yeah, they're not together in one anymore. So now they're They're bad. not extremely overpowered anymore. Yeah. I don't have two characters in one anymore. I can't... I don't have an extra slot for my character slot. I have both of them now. <laughs> it's almost like it's a cost. <laughs> Man, we should have kept her dead. Yeah. Woo. Perfect about. What do you think, Ginger? Should we kept her dead? Who's we should have kept her dead. Who's Ginger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Ginger. I said Ginger? You said like Ginger. <laughs> what do you think, Ginger? Yeah. Um... I I'm what do you very think, Ginger? I'm, I'm very curious as to where uh, the story's going. I'm very curious as to where this story goes, and then I'm also really curious as to where the other timeline goes, where you choose to not go back in time. 
Because all the characters are like, no, don't do it. Don't fucking go back <laughs> in time. <laughs> Imagine it's the whole, like, fucking TFS. I'm just like, man, I wonder if it's going to change our timeline. And multiverse it is. And eh, multiverse Fuck. theory it is. Fuck. The Crap Luminary baskets. is gone from our timeline now. <laughs> Crap baskets. Do you think that... Oh! <laughs> that, I like how that always happens. Like, they, they they always write themselves into a fucking corner doing time travel. And then goes, um, uh, uh, alternate timeline. And now he's not there for the original timeline that he was supposed to be in. So, so uh, adult timeline link. <laughs> oh, yeah. The reason why oh. the reason why I don't like time travel in general is because that's what happens every time. You have to write yourself into a corner, essentially. And then find a way to get yourself out. And so the two big ones is either multiverse or, oh, well, it's predetermined, so it's going to happen no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, you stopped the death of this guy. Well, he's going to die anyway, like a fucking day later to a completely different thing. Yeah. It's stupid. I fucking hate that. It's stupid. That's why I, 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 do, the only, I do. The only time story I think that was actually good was the Back to the Future, yeah. where, where things actually had consequences and things actually changed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and like they had to, and, and it warranted the sequel movies. It's too. a good story. The entire concept of time travel in general for me, I don't like it. It's just it's so hard to write because it's like okay, so I have how much rules should I have on this? How much how much rules should I have on this? I and mean, then, and then how much did I change when I and how much do I want to change when I go back in time? And then it's like okay, well now that I'm in a different time, I have to look at this from a different perspective. I have to look at this from the perspective of I have to forget everything about everything that yeah. I just did. And I have to go back, and with the with the with the mindset of that timeline of that point in time, to 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 make this shit con- to make the continuity make sense because it's so easy to fuck up continuity. It, like so, another bad example of that is in Sonic 06. <laughs> the whole the whole shtick is time travel. The characters use chaos control to that's time why, travel. That's why it's such an awful story. Yeah, and they can time travel at will and never do it when it's like the best time to do it. And then it's is like that's when Sil- uh, Sil- uh, is that what his name is Silver. Silver. Okay, so, that's the one where Silver is introduced. Yes, and then okay. they they also retconned another character. So backstory. Trunks is introduced. Yeah, Trunks is introduced. Um and. Uh, and so, like, one, one weird thing is that the main villain of the story, his name is Mephistopheles. Um, yeah, not The kidding. devil? Yeah. Uh, his name is Mephistopheles, and uh, apparently... Memphis, Teb- Tennessee. Apparently, Shadow's destiny was to lock him away. But in the time travel thing where they go back, it's in the 50 years where Shadow is asleep. Because before, before Sonic Adventure 2, Shadow is supposed to be locked away in, in whatever fucking gun base... That um, uh-huh. that I almost said Doctor Zero. That Gerald Robotnik put him in, <laughs> or left him in. He's supposed to be asleep in there. So for like that that whole like, cause they they specifically go fifty years in the past. They specifically, specifically go fifty yeah. years in the past. And Shadow's destiny, his whole whole like life purpose was to lock away Mephistopheles into the into this little scepter thing. But it's like, well, but that doesn't make sense because he's supposed to be fucking. Asleep in his in his little. Please, Jinzu, tell me more of the worst era of Sonic. <sighs> They're gonna make it into a movie. And then and then Sonic Sonic dies. Sonic dies and then gets kissed by a human. And then he gets kissed by a human. But like no, like the reason why that sucks is because the characters have time travel at will. They can time travel at will. So it's like <laughs> just go back to before. Like and, five seconds. Yeah, yeah and then and then another annoying thing is that the princess character, she's just like Princess Peach, but she's like Princess Princess Peach, but it's like. 50 times worse. She's on fucking crack. She, she gets, gets captured rest- like f- 16 times. She gets captured 16 times, and every time she gets captured, it's right after you saved her. You save her, she gets captured. You Mayhem. save her, she gets captured. How you many her, Sonic games captured. are we playing? All of them. Fuck. We're playing Sonic 06. <laughs> Fuck. We're playing Sonic 06. We are seeing the worst story ever made. Um, and so, and so, like, why not use Chaos Control to just stop Eggman? From capturing her, and then there's one, there's one other thing where you can fuck up, you can fuck up and um, and like so the, the the princess character she's tied to Mephistopheles because she has like half of his soul, uh, and the only way, the only way to release that half of his soul is to make her cry. <laughs> for ten years, this this for ten years this this girl has not cried. She has not shed a single tear. She didn't cry when her dad fucking died and sealed the goddamn half of the devil in her. She didn't cry when anything else happened. She didn't cry when her mother died. She didn't cry about anything or anything else. But she cried when Sonic died. That thing. She cries when Sonic dies. <laughs> 
Do you think they are inspired to make this game because of the fucking OVA? I, I don't know. I don't know. At least looks a lot like the OVA princess character. <laughs> she looks very similar to her, But like... <laughs> oh, it's just so bad. Hey, it's... you know how I've said before that my mind is a fucking patchwork of knowledge of different properties that I'm not even involved in? Mm-hmm. A million times I've said stuff like this. Uh, every time you mention Mistopheles, the only thing that pops into my mind is the fact that that's a character in um, the fucking Cats musical. And so that's the only image I have of a fucking Cats musical character basically like, I'll kill you, Sonic. Yeah, and he does like, it, it like doesn't make sense. Oh, he, magical he, Mr. He, Mistopheles. Yeah, Sonic and El- Princess Elise, they're just like walking in the middle of fucking nowhere because they didn't want to... They didn't want to make more, like, terrain for the game. So they're just, like, in some fuck-all canyon with mountains everywhere. And it looks really shitty and ugly. And then Mephistopheles just teleports behind him. Stabs Sonic with some weird energy thing from, like, 900 yards away. (laughs) It looks really bad. Sonic has, like... You know when the joke of, like, you pretend to stab someone, but it's actually on their side? That's what the beam looks like. It looks like it's going past him on his side. But it's supposed to be stabbing him through the whole entirety of his little fucking ball body. There's a clip someone shared of the of Power Rangers doing that shit. Of yeah. Like somebody gets fucking killed by a beam, and you see it's like a foot away from them. Oh. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. The story. The story just doesn't make sense. They have time travel at will. They have time travel at fucking will. And then Silver is supposed to be from the bad timeline, right? Where everything has already gone to shit. Everything's fucked up. Silver and Blaze. You know Blaze is. Blaze the cat. The cat, purple, yeah. The purple the cat. The purple cat. With the, with the top knot. Yeah. Um, her, her, people her, always ship with silver. Her backstory was, was was retconned. That wasn't... that. That's not her first game. She had a completely different backstory and a completely different, like, purpose in the fucking Sonic lore. <laughs> so, so she was introduced... I, I ought to just flat out ask of just, like, looking at all these different games. Oh, six. We all know. Bad game. Okay. Uh, the one where there's the where... Hedgehog. Is that a bad game? Unleashed is... Half Half of that game is awesome. Half, half of that game is Peaks 3D Sonic. Half of that game is a beat-em-up. That's the like beat really em- bad and, and slow. And, and they've you know, never made part? beat-em-ups before that. <laughs> okay, I got a question for both of you. Did either of you play it? No. I did not play it. But I watched... Um, uh, you, you did play it? What were your thoughts on Sonic Unleashed? I got stuck. You got stuck <laughs> in the where, in the Werehog stages or in the in the normal... Sonic stages. In the, in the daytime stages? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I got stuck because, like, uh, it, I was trying to figure out what the fuck I was supposed to do. Oh, uh, well, specifically, it was, like, this whole thing where I was supposed to beat this boss, but I could never fucking beat that boss, and I was uh-huh. just like, man, fuck this game. Yeah. And I like, so I just gave up. I'm just letting you guys just have the Sonic rant while I'm making new weapons and everything for everybody. <laughs> like, genuinely, it's the kind of thing where I still have it, which mm-hmm. means if we wanted, get a fucking capture card, and we could play actual Sonic Unleashed on my fucking Xbox 360. What do you, what do you mean? My capture card is compatible with 360. What do you mean, Duke? We've always played the actual games that we have. We've Cause always Because we, we have. Like, I find it funny we say that as we are actually on a <laughs> the Switch, so yeah. yes. But, <laughs> no, I'm saying how funny it is of just, like, looking at the Sonic games. Some of them would be very hard to find. That one, I have. Only reason I don't turn on my Xbox 360 ever is because I'm scared of the red circle of death. The red ring of death, yeah. <laughs> that only happens when you you have it like on for like ever. <laughs> oh, okay. I haven't had it on in ever. <laughs> if anything, the last time I turned it on was just after high school, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but, Six years ago. Yeah. But yeah. Um, the Sonic Unleashed story is weird because it's like, so Eggman's up to his usual fuckery. Um, With the, for some reason, some of the best graphics I've seen in a Sonic game ever. Yeah, yeah, some of the most amazing cinematics, like, period. Like, this came out before Sonic 06. I remember distinctly watching it and seeing, like, the individual hairs on his mustache. and On Eggman's, it no, it looks like leaves. Okay, okay, I... I I, I'm gonna have to cut it off now. Like, <laughs> like we have to walk through this door and see the rest of the game. <laughs> then walk. <laughs> and we can't. I don't want to talk about Sonic during the cutscenes. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. Erwin's, lat- er- Erwin's lantern is. Okay, it came out after Sonic 06. But like, well, fuck. Dude. You better edit in. The, 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 what, what's it called? The giant fucking space station thing that uh, Eggman has. The fortress. His egg, the death egg, that looks like his, yeah, the death egg that looks like his face, yeah. It's the death egg. <laughs> you edit in the death egg right now. It's falling. 
Catch it! Somebody catch it! Yeah, he's been trying to get it this entire time. Ah! Do you remember this? Do you remember this thing happening? Yeah, I remember playing this part. Uh, I remember you playing this part. What was it? Three months ago? <laughs> Wasn't that recent? You're right. A year ago? <laughs> Whoa! In my way. Yeah. <laughs> now is my time. Yeah. The real villain! Whoa. Whoa! This is new to me. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I love this. Oh! It's Jiren the Grey! <laughs> <laughs> Ideal. Giant stone dude. I, I love this now. You know, now that I mentioned Jiren, I, I got very angry and I want to rant about Jiren now. <laughs> no! no. <laughs> Hey, hot take. I like Jiren. That's that's not a hot take. I think the hot take is that Jiren's dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, the hot take is liking him. I will be 100%. Most people fucking hate him. <laughs> Shit's fucked. I, have fallen. I fear this bodes ill for us all. Don't worry, Jinzu. You have a shared opinion with most people. He's so boring. I don't. I like him. He's so boring. Boring. He's just a Dragon Ball villain. That's all it is. Yeah, but Frieza wasn't, Frieza wasn't boring. King Piccolo wasn't boring. Cell was a little boring, but the <laughs> but he wasn't boring. He's just a tournament villain. I would ask your leave to join this. Ten Shinhan wasn't boring. Yay, we're getting Hendrick. You're taking me. All that I have done. But perhaps in joining you, I might repay my debt at least in part. Ha. Luminary, I will be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. Oh, thank God. Yay! Aider, Aider, join the party. Why does this specific image look like such a cutout? I'm totally here now. <laughs> There's something off about just like the, the rendering of this specific segment super, I, it's, super it, trunk 17 it, it was it, it took that long off it took that long to press <laughs> for it to continue also we got everybody now we have veronica and hendrick you have a team of eight yeah also let's get them into the better outfit you mean the better outfit this tight as fuck what do you mean i mean i mean i know i understand armor looks cool like looks it looks too cool. much like a Power Ranger villain, I'm guessing. But this so one's in other like, words, perfect for me. But this is, but this is like dignified. In other words, you do it because you hate and me. And the other isn't. The other is war. <laughs> the other is a Power Ranger villain. Put it back. <laughs> Good. It's well, him. since you're not using greatswords anymore, might as well make him be the greatsword guy. Yeah. Or the axe, dude. Or the axe. I should do axes. Axe. Yes. I should do axes. Let's respect him. <laughs> Little do you know, I never had to respect him. <laughs> Yeah. No, you do actually. <laughs> oh. uh, wait, that was defense here. Okay. Uh... So anyway, we're talking about Sonic. Yeah, now you guys can go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like the whole story of Sonic Unleashed. It starts with Sonic fucking up Eggman shit. It's yeah, basically like the end of another game. I remember. It starts at the end of another game, and then he yeah. he throws him into the earth, and then Gaia. The earth gets cracked, and Gaia, yeah, all the whole energy shit. I know, like Jesus. Later, later in the game, you fight a giant monster in the center of the earth, essentially, or whatever. Yeah, and it's the little chibi dude that that's yeah. been flying with you the entire time. Wait, Wait, that part Chip. I didn't know. That's interesting. That he becomes the giant monster. Chip is the other half of Gaia. Okay, you I was didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Hey, dude. Do you think I fucking care? That's fine. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh my god, I can't believe it. You spoiled a game that I never finished because I got annoyed by it. <laughs> I can't believe you would spoil the end of it. No, the only one. W there are several games that I gave up on because I, I just went, I'm sick of this shit, and just moved on. <laughs> like if it, if I ever got to a point where the game annoyed me, 
I was done. I'll be 100%. That's funny. Like, it's the reason why I didn't technically finish Arkham Knight. I watched and found out how it ends, but I stopped because I have so much trouble with car mechanics, and there's a level where this fucking vehicle chases you down in a, like, locked-off uh, area. You can't escape it, and you have to blow it up by sneaking up on it. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I fucking hated it because I because every time I'd finally sneak up on it, it would immediately turn around and destroy me in one shot. So we're gonna be getting there when we. So you would that. not. So like... you're gonna spend like five minutes doing it. So you, you would not like crash tag team racing. <laughs> what do you mean? I, literally, if it has car mechanics, I don't like it. It's a racing game. I know. You mean Why like you how... I, what other game do I fucking hate? Mario Kart. Yeah. <laughs> well, mostly just Mario in general. <laughs> Mario! Yeah, so now we've got the true big bad big big bad villain. Bye, Jamma. <laughs> Hello to Mama. Is it all go, isn't it? No, sir, you finally meet the real king. Maybe he said, oh, wait. We're gonna send you things to do. Is it joking? I know you can do this. You're my little soldier after all. I think the 3D Mario games are the only ones that I actually like of Mario. Of like the. 64, uh, 64, Odyssey, Odyssey, and. Sunshine. Sunshine. That's such a huge jump. <laughs> 64. Forget the seven or the three D Mario games. She lied to me again. I didn't. I didn't read well, you what know she what I mean said, when but I said she lied to me because that was uh -huh. the collection. Gemma lied to me again, but I didn't read what then it was. Then why did you leave out Galaxy? You left out Galaxy. The collection had Galaxy. I fucking in. loved Galaxy. Well, well, that you said you said Odyssey and Sunshine. That three. No, it you had said three Odyssey ever. because I said Odyssey because you want to know the the three D Mario games that I played. Sixty four and Odyssey. Yeah, which is. I played Sunshine. Sad. That was very fun. <laughs> I never yes. played Sunshine. Sunshine rocks. Also, Except it's when it doesn't. sad as fuck at the end when it's just like, ooh, why are you kidnapping her? I want my mom. That's Wait. not at the end. Wait. That is the end. No. Sunshine? That's not there at the end. Where is it? That's like in the middle. Or like the... That's like in the early, earlier stages. Why are they thwarted? Then why are they thwarted? They're like on a raft. Like Bowser and Bowser Jr. are on like a raft. Yeah. And, and fucking Bowser goes... Junior, there's something I have to tell you. Is it that peaches in my mama? Peaches in your mama. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Why would that be at the middle? <laughs> no, that part's at the end. I'm talking about when it was revealed that he's, he's trying to save his mama. He Bowser Jr. doesn't have a mom. It's Miyamoto. Yeah. Also, no, but we I'm talking about that rap scene. He was talking about the rap scene. Oh, you're specifically talking about that. Yes. <laughs> Horse! Horse. I didn't even do that whistle. Horse. <laughs> you don't have a whistle. The handy horse collar. It's a bell. Oh. Uh, do you know the hardest one uh, to animate for most animators is horse? horse. Yeah, Yeah, because there's lots of moving parts. And so that's why James Baxter said, fuck it, in Adventure Time, my character is a horse. Why are you doing this? That Ho I animate. Hold on, I want to fight this dragon real fast. Imagine being so Why is there <laughs> yeah, just, just hair. Imagine being so good at animation that you look at people, you look people in the eyes and said, "Fuck you, my character is a horse because I want to prove how good I am." Oh, I should have done Dragon Slash. Oh, also, I animated the burning bush in Prince of Egypt. <laughs> you know that thing that's really fucking awesome. I mean. Hey, remember the one of the greatest scenes in animated history? That was me, bitch. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this, TV, this TV really fucking runs this game good. <laughs> yeah, it does. I've seen so many moments of like just pure smooth animation. Like there's some choppy moments, but like some some moments are like oddly smooth as fuck, and it's like oh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to see the funniest thing of like. Uh, sorry, my mind went to like me I mentioned the whole like horse animation thing. You want to see the funniest fucking thing when it comes to anything art related when it comes to horses? Yeah. Look at any webtoon when they bring in a horse. Does it look bad? They use a 3D model uh, that they screenshotted. <laughs> like, I could pop up on my phone more than oh. likely. Like, uh, what was one of them? I think Leveling Up My Husband was the name of it. Malicious Black Dragon, and it's blue? And in that it's Nightcrawler Blue? <laughs> In that story, there's a scene of, like, the couple riding on horses, and the horses look fucking awful. Oh, God. They are 3D renders in a 2D drawn show. That, that is honestly drawn my... Drawn webtoon. That is honestly my fear when I'm seeing... When I'm watching something, is that I'm just like, is the horse gonna look 
absolutely horrendous because it's going to completely take me out of it. <laughs> yeah, it usually does. I mean, it's also just un- in general kind of unfortunate when you find out that like when you see like the mass number of soldiers and they're all CGI. Yeah. You know, one step worse when it's live action and they're all CGI. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but we're going to be going and stopping the the weird taco guy next time. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. We'll catch you next time. Guys, we made it to 100 episodes. We made it. We literally... And there's more to go. And there's, yeah. There I, were... said, I said over 100 episodes two years ago. <laughs> I forget. Is this episode 99? No. I think Duke is not listening again. I've celebrated like three times this entire episode that this is episode 100. Oh, it's a good thing that I uh, wrote down the name of this is episode 99A, and the next one is 99B, and the next one is 99C. And the next one is 9999? No, we just just do the fucking joke of just like uh, 999 episode 9A. (laughs) You know what I'm not going to do? That. (laughs) Good thing I can retitle shit. (laughs) Oh, speaking of retitle shit, you fucking misspelled, you misspelled, uh, the name of the castle in Sekiro. Ha! Cool. You, you named it Ashin Castle. It's Ashina Castle. <laughs> I fucking fixed it. And I All saw right. it and I was like, what the fuck? Because I was doing the reused details. And I saw Ashin Castle and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I must Jinzu. rip and tear. Jinzu, I haven't titled almost any of the Sekiros, except for the first episode. Well, I didn't fucking title that episode. I don't know what to say, man. You. That wasn't me. <laughs> I don't remember doing that. Haha! The stupid was not me nah. this time. <laughs> I've, the stupid is up in the air about this. All right. We'll find that out next time. Bye! Watch, um... I want you to Though watch... Though sometimes I actually do purposely mistitle episodes.